Jackson tonight. You bet, Gord. Tonight I drop by the Skyline Hotel where legendary rocker Jerry Lee Lewis is really shaken up a storm. Earlier this week, old Jerry caused a bit of commotion when he canceled a gig at New York Studio 54 at the last minute. I asked Jerry why he canceled. Rock. Legendary rocker Jerry Lee Lewis did two nights at Toronto's Skyline Hotel this past week. Some were surprised he showed up. Earlier in the week, Jerry had cancelled a gig at New York Studio 54 at the last minute, complaining of a sore throat. The owner of the club says he'll sue. I was lucky enough to talk with Jerry Lee Lewis at a small reception on the second night of his Toronto engagement. A small crowd gathered to hear what the legend had to say. I heard you had a bad throat. That's why you canceled your date at Studio I sure 54. did. I couldn't make it. I got out of the bed and my head started spinning and lightning was a flash and the thunder was a crash and around in my brain. I knew I'd better get back in the bed. Sounds like material for a great new tune. <laughs> really? <laughs> <laughs> well, thank God you've recovered. But I, but I understand that there was news anyway that they might uh, sue you for a million bucks. I let them sue. Sue? <laughs> a million bucks? <laughs> for what? For, for a man being sick? They sit me, honey, if I spit on the sidewalk. Collect it at a different time. Probably will, won't they? <laughs> not that. But no, I'm not guilty. I'm innocent. What do you think the appeal of your music is? Why is it that you can turn the kids on and you can appeal to the grown-ups, too? It just goes to show you that uh, they know a good thing when they hear it. Talent. Mm -hmm. Now, not when they see it, because they know I'm crazy anyway. But the talent, they can't get away from that God-given talent. Mm -hmm. But the longevity of rock and roll, I bet I there are a lot of... The, the fact that rock and roll has lasted for as long as it has. I bet there are a lot of cynical people has in the early days. Has it lasted that long? Oh, it, it's lasted pretty long. Uh, it's not that long. Lo it's never been, been that long. 29 years. <laughs> <laughs> well, were, weren't there people in the early days that said what you were doing was going to be a short-lived kind of thing? They hoped so. But they were wrong. And you showed them. They said, this boy is going to corrupt the youth of America. Uh, really. <laughs> People see you as a real rock and roll outlaw. Are you happy with that image? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Is it something that you've worked hard at achieving, or it just comes naturally? Uh, I am what I am, baby. I'm not a phony. I don't hide myself off in the room somewhere and play uh, diddly do whatever. But I get out and rock. Has this business made you really tough? <laughs> Honey, I'm not tough. I'm I mean. You admit to being mean? Well, musically speaking, yeah. I got a woman mean as she can be. <laughs> oh, yeah, I heard about her. Sometimes she thinks she's almost mean as Rock and Jerry Lee. <laughs> <laughs> but no, man, I'm not a mean person, darling. I wouldn't know how to be mean. I wouldn't say that you were for a minute. I think you're the greatest. Thanks so much for talking God with me. God bless you, baby. You're very nice. Okay. And beautiful lady. And when you get ready to get married, let me know. <laughs>